all the former president's lawyers, that we know of. Donald Trump's career has been defined by legal fights and the eclectic crew of lawyers who've waged them. That's never been more true than since he left the presidency and his legal woes have metastasized. Some of his lawyers have represented celebrities, including Waka Flocka Flame and Courtney Love. One of his attorneys works at a firm that lists one of its specialties as RV Law. Others still have extensive white-collar defense backgrounds and prosecutorial careers. Now they're representing a former president caught in a mixture of criminal matters related to the 2020 election, his retention of documents marked highly classified, alongside a wide range of civil lawsuits. Some of Trump's former attorneys have accused him of not fully paying them for their services. It's not clear what all his current attorneys will cost, though the tab for some of the legal battles has been covered, in part, by the Republican National Committee and his Save America Political Action Committee, according to CNBC. Here's a rundown of the people known to be representing Trump in his current messiest fights. The Department of Justice is investigating Trump's handling of documents marked classified that were stored at Mar-a-Lago. Trump sued to demand an outside review of the materials seized from his estate last month. Here's who is representing him in the matter. Corcoran, a D.C.-based criminal defense attorney, recently represented Trump ally Steve Bannon in his trial on contempt of Congress charges for defying a subpoena from the January 6 Select Committee. A jury found Bannon guilty on both charges. Corcoran also represents Michael Riley, a now-retired U.S. Capitol Police officer charged with attempting to help a January 6 riot or evade investigators. Corcoran has been scrutinized for his early contacts with the National Archives, as the government attempted to recover highly classified documents housed at Mar-a-Lago. He was also present when FBI agents and a DOJ lawyer visited Trump's property in June. At that meeting, According to a court filing from the Justice Department, an unnamed custodian of Trump's records, reportedly former One American News anchor Christina Bob Dash provided the agents and DOJ lawyer with a signed letter stating that all documents marked classified had been returned. And, according to the same court filing, Corcoran said there were no records stored anywhere other than a storage room. But when FBI agents executed a search warrant at Mar-a-Lago earlier this summer, they found documents marked as classified in Trump's personal office. Halligan is a Fort Lauderdale-based attorney serving as local counsel for Trump in the Mar-a-Lago litigation. She was one of the only lawyers working for Trump who was on site at his estate during the execution of the FBI search. Kais, a former Florida Solicitor General who has won four cases before the Supreme Court, has been a longtime advisor to Florida Republicans including Governor Ron DeSantis and former Govs. Rick Scott and Charlie Crist. Crist has since joined the Democratic Party and is now challenging DeSantis in the race for Florida governor. He recently joined Trump's Mar-a-Lago legal team and argued successfully before U.S. District Court Judge Aileen Cannon for the appointment of a special master in the case. Trustee, a D.C.-based former federal prosecutor, has signed several of Trump's filings in the special master litigation and did most of the arguing before Cannon. He previously oversaw gang prosecutions at Justice Department headquarters. It's unclear if Bob is doing any legal work for Trump on this or any other matter. But she was on site during the FBI search, interacting with agents and communicating with Trump's broader legal team during the nine-hour raid. She's presented herself as a member of Trump's legal team in television interviews since the search of Mar-a-Lago but hasn't formally appeared in court to represent Trump. Bob a former row on anchor with long-time ties to Trump world, has been involved in multiple Trump-related legal and political battles, including efforts to challenge the results of the 2020 election. She was reportedly in the Willard Hotel with top Trump allies as they monitored efforts to subvert the election outcome in the lead-up to the Electoral College certification. New York Attorney General Letitia James' civil investigation is looking at how Trump and his companies calculated the value of their assets. Here's who is representing Trump in the matter. Fischetti, who has a decades-long career in New York criminal defense, represents Trump in that probe. Years ago, he also represented Courtney Love. A Beg minister, NJ-based attorney, Haba has emerged as a prominent spokesperson for Trump and his legal team, appearing on Trump-friendly news outlets to rail against the investigations he faces. Haba is representing Trump against James' probe of the business practices of the Trump Organization. Haba has also become a spokesperson of sorts for Trump in the Mar-a-Lago case. 
She said in recent interviews that Trump frequently hosts guests in the club's office where FBI investigators found highly classified documents. She also revealed in the New York litigation that she scoured Mar-a-Lago for records related to that lawsuit just days before the Justice Department issued a subpoena for records marked classified held at the resort. An Atlanta-area district attorney is probing Trump's effort to overturn the 2020 election in Georgia, potentially in violation of multiple state and local laws. Here's who is representing Trump in the matter.